so grateful to you for your goodness, dear God. We thank you for lifting us out. Thank you for rolling us over the tide, dear God. Lord, we'll never forget the day that you delivered our soul from the bondage of sin. And God, it doesn't get old to us, dear God. It's not old news. It's still fresh, dear God. We remember the bondage of sin and how you delivered us and gave us a new life, gave us a new walk, dear God. Gave us a new talk. You changed the way we look, dear God. Changed the way we talk, dear God. Looked at our hands and our hands look new. Down at our feet and they did too. And ever since that wonderful day, our soul has been satisfied. God, we've been praying, oh God, in anticipation. We've been praying, Lord, for this revival effort, dear God. And Lord, as we get it underway, dear God, praying tonight that your anointing, praying, Almighty God, that your presence, that your spirit, Father, would take the man of God. Lord, that you would take him out of himself, use him to preach the everlasting gospel. Pray, God, whatever we need tonight, in this judgment, in this encouragement, in this inspiration, God, in this reproof, whatever we need tonight, anoint him to preach the everlasting gospel. Meet every need. Father, there are souls here that don't know you. Father, the free part of their sin. God, pray you would show mercy. Save souls. Reclaim backsliders. Save me by believers. Find God, heal bodies. Do a work, we pray. And for all that is accomplished, we'll give you the glory, the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You may be seated. And as stated, we've been praying and fasting and looking for the Lord to meet us here, and now we're here. Amen. And we thank God for uh, Pastor Rick Lombia, Pastor there in Pensacola, Florida. He'll be our evangelist this weekend. So let's pray for him tonight and let's receive him with a hearty amen. Amen. One more time. With a hearty amen.
We named it Victory Hill. When we get to the end of the uh, Rainbow Beach, we'll run up that sand hill and we'll say, Victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He saw me and he bought me with his feet. As we're going to keep up here, yeah, I knew. And all my love is you. He brought me to victory with his redeeming blood. And then we get everybody get to the top and we say, Victory! And we don't care who was out looking and smoking and drinking. Amen. We say, Victory! Victory. Amen. And it's still victory, Jesus. Amen. Amen. When I uh, when we returned home, I had two messages. Uh, one uh, from our realtor, and she left a message. She said, "If you doubt him, you will know nothing about him." <laughs> and when Brother Kitty, uh, that was on a Tuesday night of service. Brother Kenny, the Lord let me know, Brother Kenny's going to call me back. And just like the Lord said, Kenny, Brother Kenny Williams called me back. He said, Brother Rick, I thank you for your sacrifice. He thought, you know, Kenny talked fast. <laughs> brother, and, uh, but we don't need your help. Uh, you gone on to church, brother. Who do you think told him that? <laughs> Amen. So when I got to church, I went into the minister's room, and one of the first things the pastor knew said was, have a few things to uh, tell you all. And uh, the very first thing he said was, uh, there are some saints in Pensacola that need a pastor. I'm sure some of you ministers remember that. And I didn't say a word. I was like, wow. Wow. And um, Sister Bettina, you know, when we were exhorting, you know, we were exhorting first. Yeah. Huh? And one day after exhorting, Sister Bettina, is Sister Bettina Hall here tonight? Sister Bettina Hall, she sent me a note by the usher. <coughs> and I opened up the note and it said, is there also a prophet among us? And, uh, and different things, and different things, what well, God will use the saints and God will use different things to encourage me. Amen. That was my call. Yes, sir. But I wanted to make my call in sure. Yes. Amen. Because there's so many voices in the air. Yes. So many people calling. Yes. Amen. I wanted to make sure it wasn't the devil calling. Yes. I wanted to make sure it was God calling. Yes. Amen. And I proved God because I knew. As a pastor uh, or any leadership, you're going to get a lot of targets. Oh, yeah. Amen. You're set up for a lot of targets and ridicule. Yes. Amen. And I want to be sure. Amen. So I pray to God. Yes. Amen. As you pray for us, let us turn to the book of First Peter. Thank the Lord. I'm sorry, Second Peter, the first chapter. 2 Peter, the first chapter, verse number 3. According to the divine power. Yes. According to the divine power. And given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. That means whatever we need on the natural side, that's life. Whatever we need on the spiritual side, that's godliness. Amen. Amen. God took care of the whole natural man and the whole spiritual man. Yeah. Read it again. According to his divine. According as his divine power. Yes. And given unto us all things. God's given to us all things. That pertain unto life that and godliness. To life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Yes. Whereby I have given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Exceeding great and precious promises. That by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Yes. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Thank God that we escape, amen, the corruption in the world through lust. Amen. Thank God that we're saved tonight. Amen. amen. Thank God, amen, that, amen, we're present.
bless and all. Yes. Thank God that we're fighting sin. Yes. Thank God, amen, that our names is written in the book of life. Yes. Haven't escaped the corruption in the world through lust. And beside and this, beside this giving, all giving all diligence and to your faith. And to your faith, virtue. And to virtue, knowledge. Yes. And to knowledge, right. temperance. Yes. And to temperance, patience. Patience. And to patience, godliness. Godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. Yes. And to brotherly kindness, charity. Mm -hmm. For if these things be in you, God said these things be in you, and abound, and abound, they make you, that ye shall neither be barren, barren nor unfruitful, or fruitful, in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We won't be no doubt, it's real. But he that lacketh But he that lacketh is blind. Blind. And cannot see and afar cannot off. See afar off. And have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Forgotten that he was saved. Read. Wherefore the rather. Wherefore the rather. Brethren, yes. give them just to make your calling and yes. election yes. sure. Yes. To make your calling yes, and election sure. Yes. For if ye do these things. If you do these things. Ye shall never fall. Yes. Never yes. 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 The Bible says God is able to keep us from falling. Yes. 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 Amen. So I want to make my calling, my selection, amen, sure that God was calling me. Amen. My message tonight is, what is your calling? What is God calling you to do? Amen. What is your calling? Every one of us that God has called out of sin, amen. He give us, uh, and we consecrate ourselves before him. God give us a job. He give us a duty. He give us a call. Not to just sit down on the pew and be a bitch. Not to sit down on the stool and do nothing. Amen. But God give us a duty. He give us a call. And the question tonight is, do you know your calling? What is your call? What does God call? Amen. I see a lot of talent. Amen. We'll be able to hide behind other people. We'll be able to, amen, say, ah, I prefer my brother. I prefer my sister. But what is God calling you to do? Amen. 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 The book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter, in verse number one, just that first verse. What is your call? I am therefore the prisoner of the Lord. Paul said, I therefore a prisoner. Of the Lord. Beseech you. Begging you, brother. That ye walk worthy of the vocation where we are. Once God showed us our calling, God want us to walk worthy. God want us, amen, amen, to walk truly. Amen. To walk proudly in our calling. That we walk worthy yes. in the what? Of the vocation. That means our job, yes. our duty. And the vocation wherewith, wherewith ye are called. Ye are called. Ye are called. I believe that word ye means you. You. Amen. If you had a mirror right before your eyes right now, you need to look in the mirror and say, what is my calling? What is my calling? Amen. If you don't know your calling, we need to get before the Lord and find out what our calling is. Yeah. Amen. When God, amen, when God called me to Pensacola, Florida, I fasted 21 days. I lost so much weight, Pastor Duke said, brother, stop fasting. <laughs> the family fasted. I, I don't know how long they went. 12, 3, 4, 5 days. Amen. But I wanted to know for sure. I want to be very sure, amen, that God was calling me. I didn't want no doubts because I knew that I was going to face difficulties. I knew there was going to be challenges. And I didn't want, amen, the devil to put in my face, God, God never called you here. So I said, God, I have such a conviction in my soul. If I died roast in hell tonight, I know God called me to pass. I know that. Amen. I know that. That God called me to pass. Because, amen, my, my wife, she was uh, 
teaching the, uh, the uh, what they call it? The preschools, Sunday school. And one day, uh, I think Brother Ross was teaching in the marriage class. She finished her, she came upstairs and she said, uh, she sat by me and she handed me a, uh, one of the uh, programs that the children had. And it was about Abraham. And it, it said, Abraham and his family moved. <laughs> now at that time, my wife or me knew anything. I had an inclination, but I didn't tell her at this point. And uh, as you read down, I believe it's in the 12th chapter of uh, Genesis. It said, and Abram and his family kept journeying toward the south. <laughs> now, Florida is as south as you can go in the United States of America. Is that right? Amen. I wanted to be sure, very sure. And then in Zechariah, Another time I was before God. See, I wouldn't take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, uh, I would No, God, keep continue to show me. Continue to show me. Continue to show me. Huh? Amen. I was reading Zechariah. The scripture said, flee from the north. I'm telling you. He said, flee from the north. I'm telling you. I, I had a conviction. I didn't have a feeling. I didn't have a thrill. I had a conviction. I have witnesses. You need a witness. Without you getting get a witness. Down in your soul, know that God is with you in what you do. The Bible says, what shall you do or say? Do it and say for the glory of God. And walk worthy in it. In the vocation you will call. You will call. Amen. There are some things that God calls us to do that nobody else can do it but you. Amen. Come on! Amen. Amen! Nobody can do it but you. Why? God chose you. God's glory on you. God's hand on you. Man, look at that. Woo! Huh? Hey, the nush. They got that hawk out. Put that gun out your mouth. Move, sister, I said move down. Nobody can do it but you. You. God chose you. Are you walking in your calling? I say, well, I'm not even saved. Well, God's calling you to be saved. Amen. God's calling you to be saved. This is the will of God. Amen. That we be saved. Saved from what? Saved from our sin. Once God save us from our sins, God give you a vocation. God give you a duty. God give you a call. Amen. I'll never forget, amen, before uh, leaving uh, Chicago, the saints of God surprised me. They surprised me with a big going away. Y'all remember that? Amen. And uh, Saints was laughing, Saints was crying, amen. Uh, Saints was roasting me. <laughs> <laughs> A little piece of leather, well put together. <laughs> wow. Roasting me, amen. But that, that was a very memorable night that I'll never forget. I'll never forget, I'll never forget the love and the strength. Say show toward me. And, and still you show. Amen. Amen. Saints of God, Elder Doug used to say, when you leave home. Leave right. Say what? Leave oh, right. Yeah, leave right. Amen. 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 I left right. Amen. Some people that left this congregation have not left right. Amen. 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 But when you leave, you better make sure you're right. God, thank God, my pastor was with me. Amen. Amen. I'm 
sure he didn't want me to leave, but he was with me. He had no other choice but to let me go. <laughs> Amen. But I left right. Amen. Amen. The saints, the love, ain't nothing like the love of the saints of God. Amen. Nothing like the love of the saints of God. Praise God. Amen. 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 The book of Samuel. We need to we need to recognize the uh, the call. We need, we need to recognize and be familiar with God's voice when He calls us. Amen. Amen. Look at uh, First Samuel the third chapter. Amen. First Samuel the third chapter, verses one through nine and verse number eleven. Recognize God's call. And the child Samuel and the child of the Lord. Yes. Before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. Yes. There was no open vision. No open vision. And it came to pass at that time. Pass. Yes. When Eli was laid down in his place, and his eyes began to wax dim, that he could not see. And ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. And said, Listen, that light should, that should have never went out. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, let your light so shine before men, that men, women, boys, and girls may see your good work and glorify the Father in heaven. That light should have never gone out. Don't let your light ever go out. Amen. Keep your light shining. Keep that oil in your vessel. Amen. Jesus Christ is my vessel, and I feel no alarm. He gave me peace in the midst of the storm. Amen. Amen. Keep that lamp burning. Come on. Verse 4, that the Lord called Samuel, and he answered, here am I. And he ran unto Eli and said, Here am I. Here am I. For thou callest me. And, he, I, called and he, said, he said, I called not. I didn't call you. Lie down again. Lie down, son. And he went and lay down. The Bible says the Lord called. Yeah. He thought Eli called. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Pastor used to say schools make doctors, lawyers, and teachers. But it takes God to make a preacher. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We got to know who's calling. See what. When, 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 when I was a convert, the pastor heard Pastor Gordon preaching on gospel time. Come out of her, my people. Yeah. Amen. Repent two sinners. And one day I called Pastor Gordon. I said, Pastor Gordon, how can the people come out and nobody go get it? He said, young man, I haven't been saved this long to, to know when God is dealing with a person. He said, you go, to, you go do what God tells you. Hey. I, I had no idea. I was like, Eli, what are you talking about? Go do what God tells me to do. Amen. Brother, listen. God opened up so many doors okay. in Babylon. Yeah. Amen. Babylon. What's Babylon? Confusion. Yeah. What's Babylon? False religion. Anything that's not in the book, anything that's not in, amen, written in God's book is Babylon. Yeah. Any church, any organization that's not written in the book is Babylon. It's confusion. Yeah. Brother, God opened up doors for me to go into Babylon. Amen. Brother, we had preachers shaking. Preachers hiding behind the stairs. Amen. When they, when they heard my testimony, they never answered the video. Amen. Brother, we had them shaking. Brother, by the grace of God. The word of God, amen, is doing, we're doing a shaking. Brother, brother we, 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 we threw a, a, a term, Romans, upside down. Amen. Throughout Chicago, west side, south side, turn it upside down. Wasn't always like that. Wasn't always like that. There was a brother in, in Pasco, used to call him Brother L. Brother Steve. Neil. Remember Brother Steve Neil? Yeah. He used to be on the L. And brother, he would bring in the sheets. He would bring in the sheets. And that inspired me to go on the L. But before I, before I got to the L, I had to catch the bus. And when I got on the bus before I got to the L, my plans, I'm going to start on the L. I'm going to be like Brother Steve. God told me as I was sitting up on my seat on the Halsted bus going to 95th Street, he said, get up and speak. Just so clear, just so vivid. I'm like, what? He 
call me out God. You know, when I used to fight out there in the streets, man, he stole them. He stole them. So to speak. I'm like, what? <laughs> Chapter. 
verse 29. Amen. What is your call? What is God saying to you? What is God inspiring you to do? Amen. Well, you don't understand. I'm young. You don't understand. I'm a convert. God used me in Babylon as a convert. Saints of God, let me tell you something. We know just as much as a convert or one time come under this truth than our own old time in Babylon. Right. 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 Amen. We, we ain't no dummies. Right. Amen. Thank the Lord. So, the scripture said, For the gifts and calling of God are without what is your repentance. Call? The gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. In other words, God is not no Indian giver. God ain't going to take back what he gave you. Amen. Amen. When Pastor Duke said, uh, they need a pastor. That's from the floor. Huh? When you have a, an assurance, you can just sit back and just, huh? Don't have to get in a rush or a hurry. Why? Because what God has for you is for you. Amen. Amen. God got something for you, saints. Amen. Come on. The gifts and the callings of God are, are without repentance. And as we turn to 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter, verse number one, uh, I charge thee therefore. God said, I charge you therefore. Before God. Yes. And the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Who shall judge the quick and the dead. God is going to judge the quick and his kid. Mm -hmm. Preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant in season. Don't amen. preach feelings. Don't preach amen what you think and how you feel. Preach the word. Amen. Preach the word. Because that's what we're going to be judged by. Right. In the last days, the word. Preach the word. Don't go off the word. Amen. Don't skip over the word. Preach the word. Don't go to people without the word. Don't go to people in your feelings. Come, come to, come with the word. Preach the word. Be instant. In season. In season. Out of season. When you want to do it. When you don't want to do it. Do it. Read. Reprove. Reprove. Rebuke. Rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering. Exhort with all long suffering. And godliness. Make sure God is with you. Three. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. And the time is here that people will not endure sound doctrine. Amen. He, these false preachers have, have spoiled the people in Babylon. Yeah. Giving them sugar when they should be giving them vegetables and meat. Huh? Yeah. Spoiled the people. When the truth, when they hear the truth of God, they say, wait a minute, my reverend, my deacon say, uh uh, I'm not going to do that. You don't have to live right. You do. Man. Come on. But after their own lust, after their own lust, lust they keep to themselves teachers. Teachers. Having itching ears. Televised teachers. Uh, uh, periscope. Periscope. Periscope preachers. <laughs> Imposters. Yeah. Radio preachers. Yeah. Televised preachers. Yeah. Amen. And what? No mess. They preach sermonettes <laughs> to Christianettes <laughs> smoking their cigarettes. <laughs> Read on. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And shall be Hear turned unto the truth. Fables. And what? And shall be turned unto fables. Fables. Yes. But watch thou in all things. But watch thou in all things. Endure affliction. Endure affliction, Brother Jason. Endure affliction. Sister Deborah. Brother Arnold. Endure affliction. Do what? Do the work of an evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist. Make what? Make full proof of thy ministry. Make full proof. Brother Tim Miller. When I was in Bloomington. And uh. And I walked into the room. You, your mother, and your brother Tony were there. You remember? And you all were just discussing, discussing about my call, what y'all saw in me. But I wasn't coming to the room for that. That's what they thought. 
I was coming in there to let them know I had something on my heart. <laughs> but they, they said, we were just talking about you. We see, we see God's hand on you. And they said, we're going to a minister's meeting, and we're going to meet with uh, Pastor Gordon, and we're going to let him know. When he got back, you know what uh, Brother Tony told me that Pastor Gordon said? Do you want to know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, <Yeah. laughs> but there's him and talk. <laughs> him and talk. Pastor Gordon told Brother Tony, he said, oh, Lord. tell Brother Rick that we live in a false prophet age. Yeah. Some was called, some was sent, some just bumped up and went. These old fly by night preachers, just because they know a few scriptures, they think God called them to preach. I'm like, wow, my daddy told me that, really? <laughs> but you know what he did? It put a fear in me. It put a respect in me. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Let me tell you something. 46th Street is it produces preachers and great gifts and great men and great women of God. This congregation, that's what it produces. And you can so easily get a false calling. A false gift. Not knowing the voice of God. You, you going to you going to flesh, you going to man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Many, you know how many times preachers in Babylon told me I'm a preacher? I yes, sir. Say, I'm not no preacher. I get mad. Hey, Amen. God got to tell me that. That's a call from God. It's a call from God. Too many preachers messed, messed up already. Amen. 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 Make sure yes, that we hear from God and God alone. And so, uh, when Pastor Gordon told me that, I just left him off. Went on about my business. Here come Brother Walter Hall. Okay. Brother Walter Hall, he said, is God, uh, God inspiring you in the ministry? I said, yes, sir. He said, Brother Rick, I'm going to tell you what another brother told me. He said, uh, he said, you see that your cabinet full of dishes and cups and all kind of pottery? He said, now one of those dishes and cups jumping up say, hey, when you open up the cabinet, hey, use me. Hey, pick me. Right? They just sit there. And then you go in there and pick one out. Is that right? Yes. And use it. And use it. And serve it. I'm a preacher. I'm a preacher. Ain't saying nothing but some noise. Your fruit don't prove that. Where's your souls? Mm -hmm. By your fruit you shall know that. Amen. Brother, let me tell you, uh, brother, brother Devale, brother Troy, brother, and myself, who was here, is when it was time for guests. It seemed like all the saints' head turned to one of us. And even and, and sometimes all of us would have a guest out. But if none, but nobody, amen, none of us came out without a guest. Between us three and Neil. Amen. Huh? Where's your, where's the souls? Good challenge, bro. We went souls. Somebody was telling me today I went, uh, my wife and I and son went uh, visiting uh, Sick and shut in, and, um, and one of the um, one of the saints' children said, uh, "We we 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 can't uh, we we can't come to church like this. I got on I got on this, and I got on that." I said, "Yes, you can." I said, "If you have any problems, let me know." All right. Amen. Amen. People got in their mind. I, I said, look, if a prostitute comes with a super mini on, praise the Lord, how they gonna get saved? Amen! Amen. Amen. How they gonna get saved? Amen. Turn, turn the 
Jeremiah. Jeremiah 18. This, this is, Jeremiah, this is my whole thing of, of this, uh, I believe the Lord gave me the whole thing. Jeremiah 18 and 1. Amen. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Yes. Arise. Arise. Come down to the potter's house. Come on down yes, to the potter's house. And there I will cause oh, you to hear my word. And there. And there. Listen, I will cause you to hear my word. Let me tell you something. You can't get this word from nobody else but the potter's house. Amen. Yeah, you can't get this. If you want the truth, if you want the word, you got to come to the potter's house. Well, guess what? That's where you are. You're in the potter's house. God's house. I'm the blessed old church of God. The only one of the mother. Amen. Many daughters have been virtuously, but thou excellest them all. You're in the church of God. Amen. The pillar and ground of truth. Praise God. You're in the potter's house. This is where you get made. People go down to Hollywood and try to become actors and singers and comedians. But amen. They come to the potter house. And God starts working on them. Working on that vessel. Turning that wheel. Praise God. And he's making them. And he's shaping them. Amen. To God's image. Because sin messed us up. Sin martyrs. Sin. Amen. Abused us. Abused us. Amen. 20 years old looking like you're 50. Praise God. Amen. Looking like your great uncle. Praise God. Amen. But God saved us. by sin. Yeah. Amen. If you've been that man used by the devil, yeah. you're in the right house. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, you're in the right house tonight. Yeah. In the right house tonight. Yeah. The Bible say what? Then I went down to the potter's house. Then I went on down to the potter's house. And behold, and behold, the Lord worked on the wheel. Oh, I saw him working on the wheel. Amen. God worked on me. I was a mess. Grandma Powers, I was a mess. Amen. Amen. But I thought I was doing, I thought I was doing all right. Amen. But I was a mess. Yeah. I'll admit it. Come on. And the vessel that he made of clay and the was vessel. marred in the hand of the potter. Oh, saints of God. The vessel that God made of clay. Don't you know, praise God, God made us. We were born not to do our own thing. We were born to be saved. The Bible said, remember now that I created the days of thy youth. What? What's that? What? Thank you. While the evil days come not, while the years draw nigh, thou shalt say, I have no what? I have no pleasure. Amen. We were born to be saved. We were born to remember that I created in our youth while we were young. Young people, let no man despise thy youth. Don't tell, don't let nobody tell you that, amen, you're too young. You're just a little whippersnapper. Amen. Let God use you. The song said, Lord, use me. And oh, then, Lord, don't refuse me. For surely there's a the work that I can do. And even though it may not be preaching, even though, amen, even though I may not have a great voice, even though I may not play well on the instrument, but even though it's humble, help my will to humble. Amen. Because the work is great. Work is great. But you know what? My house is full. Praise God. And my fields are empty. Who will go and work for me today? It seems my children all, they want to just come around the table. Come on for the feast. Amen. Just a few want to work. Just a few want to get their hands dirty. I remember I used to see Sister Chris on 95th Street. Amen. Going for it. That little sister was going for it. She was telling it, brother. She was, amen, sounding the trumpet on those souls. Oh, yeah. All right. I see you. I see you. Praise God. Continue to go forward. Amen. Continue to go forward. Amen. Babylon is still no good. I'm still mad. Amen. False preachers. Right. People of false hope. Yeah. All right. False gifts. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to deceive my family and your family and friends and neighbors. Amen. 
Thank God, Donna. Uncle Albert had this much sense. Destiny, Uncle Albert had this much sense. He was a drunk, but one day he went into Babylon and he said, Rick, man, I went to Babylon and the preacher, he said, I'm still hanging on. And the preacher said, you a deacon. I said, Uncle Sam, I ain't going back that no more. Elder Johnson, 
He told me before he died, that was my friend. He taught me a lot of things. I wish I had the memory he had to retain it. I should have, I should have had more recorded. Lord have mercy. And he said how it happened was one day in between service, he went grocery shopping. Came on to the night service when he, after the service, Somebody broke into his car and took his groceries. Lord have mercy. So the Lord laid on his heart to start security. Yeah. Mm. That's why security is here. Mm. Right. Amen. I see the boulevard is empty on the, in the middle section. But he started back to Come on. Well, the saints used to be able to park on the boulevard. Amen. Because the parking lot was too. Uh, 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 not enough room. The side streets weren't enough room. And Pastor Johnson went to the, he told me he went to the chief, uh, the precinct somewhere, and he talked to the chief. God gave him a favor. Amen. He said, Amen. told the officers, do not get the same certificate. Amen. We need some more Johnsons. Amen. Amen. You know he's going to soul when this is together. Yes. You know that. So, you know, I mean, if you be faithful of a few things, God make you rule over me. Amen. Amen. I just wish you could touch my voice so I can sing like some of y'all. <laughs> Amen. Lord have mercy. That's my sister Donna said, be praying, bro. <laughs> Amen. Ecclesiastes 9. Amen. 10 and 11. Bible is one of my favorite scriptures growing up in the Lord. What's up with thy hand? What does it say? What's up with thy hand? Find it to do. Whatever your hand find it to do. Do it with might. In other words, be looking. Find something to do. Don't do nothing. Find something to do in the kingdom of God. Amen. Find something to do. Amen. Do something. Brother Joe, he He'll pick up a paintbrush and start painting. Do something! Beautiful the temple of God. All right. Amen. What's up with our hand finding to do? Do it with might. Do it. Do it. I said, I should say all my might. But do it. Do it. Do it with your might. Amen. Don't go half heart. Give it your all. Praise Give it God. your all. Amen. Don't hold back on God, because God Amen. can hold back on us. Amen. 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 You know what? Some of us are in the ministry. But all, all of us have a ministry. Amen. All of us have a ministry. What is your ministry? The word ministry means to serve. Amen. We are servants. We're servants. You know, just like uh, when you go to a nice restaurant and, and uh, all you have to do is sit down. Amen. You, 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 you cookers, you, you ladies like this. Just yes. sit on down. Yes. You don't have to worry about washing dishes, seasoning, and cooking, and washing, and, and all this stuff. Just go in the restaurant and sit down. And someone will come to your table and sit. Amen. That's how we should be. All right, man. How, how, how may I help you, please? May I help you, please? Can I help you, please? Mm. Can I help you? Help you. Yes, Amen. Some say, no, you can't help me. Some say, oh, yeah, I need some help. Thanks to God, we need help. No other help I know. So we got to call Father. Father, I need help. If you don't help me, I'll mess up. need help. For time's sake, give me numbers. Numbers of 27 chapter. I'm sorry. Matthew 20. Matthew 20. Matthew 20, 25, 28. I'm not. When Jesus. Huh? When Jesus called unto him and said, and said, Ye know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them. You know, the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them. In they, other words, amen, they use their power. They usurp their power and authority. Come on. That's the Gentiles. And Gentile they have great exercise authority upon them. Yes. But it shall not be so among oh, you. Oh, it shall not be so among us. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. But whosoever will be great among you, whosoever shall be great among you, let him be your minister. Let him, can you let the ministers be your ministers? Amen. 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 Do you give your ministers your pastor a hard time? Amen. Amen. Are you rebellious? Are you stubborn as a mule?
She's getting better now. <laughs> you know why? Because she missed y'all. God's grace is sufficient. I remember when we first got married, before we got married, I said, what if God called me to Africa? What if God called me here? What if she said, where are you going? So here we go. Here we go. Amen. Better say what we mean and mean what we say. Amen. The Bible says, for man's ways is on the horns of the Lord. How can he know his own way? I don't know. God called a little nephew here, redhead boy, from Chicago, Illinois, to the ministry and to pastorship. I don't know. I don't know. Great men and women. Come on. God chose. What is God choosing you to do? Remember one time, my little sister Destiny, she, uh, we were exhorting, and she, she heard the tape in the car. And she said, big brother, she said, you were brave. You were brave. So they said, God, we got to be brave. We got to be, we got to be valiant. We got to be strong. Because the devil got some strong spirits out there. Strong spirits out there. Amen. Amen. Saints of God, let's make sure we don't have a false call. One brother got up here right before I moved, and he uh, he was exhorted. He, he, he got up here. He said, he said, sights of God, I got an exhortation. Yeah. Amen. He thought the Lord was calling him into the ministry. And he said, uh, you, you will know if this is God. <laughs> you will know. And we knew it. And it wasn't of God. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Amen. 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 The Bible said man's gift will make room. But Lord, I can't do it. They bring it before great and mighty. Look at the room. There's still more room. There's still more room. There's still more room. Look at the space. There's still more room. Amen. The Bible says precious is a song and precious is a gift in the eyes of him that have it. Whatsoever they turn, it prospers. It prospers. It prospers. What is your call? God bless you. When God calls a person, there is peace in it. 
And I'm going to tell you, a lot of times when he gives you a calling, it is something you don't want to do. Most folks who are elbowing and, and pushing and shoving, trying to get in these spots, it's because God didn't call you. you. You read your Bible a little bit and find out about people God told to do stuff and see if they were running to do it. Let's start with Moses. How many excuses did he give? When God calls you, there's a fight that you got to go through because you and I, our flesh, don't want to do it. But since you know what the problem is, too many of us don't know our calling. And, and what's worse than that, too many of us don't care to know our calling. That's not a new message. We've heard this message before. We have. Come on, you've been saving any length of time. You've heard this message before. But the devil will have you and I sit there without a knowledge of our calling. And we don't have a burden to get it. And you know the proof we don't? Look at the altar. You mean to tell me everybody standing in front of me knows their calling and is functioning in their calling? I tell you nay. But the bigger question is why am I still standing in the audience during an altar call when God has called me and told me where I'm short and I won't make a move? Saints, some people aren't ready for their calling, so God got to work on us. Sometimes we are called to do something, but before we do it, we got to be prepared. And so he takes us through things. He puts us through stuff. And some of us tonight, you may not be ready to fulfill your calling, but you and I need to get in a place where God, go ahead and put me in the potter's house. Fix me. Mold me. Make me. So that when it's time for me to function in my calling, I won't be a problem. I'll be effective. If you get somewhere before it's time, you're going to be a problem. Maybe he is calling you to direct, but not today. Amen? Maybe he is calling you to ministry, but not today. There's a preparation that has to take place before you and I are able to function in our calling. So he calling you to be a choir director and you still smoking cigarettes. No, you ain't ready yet. You need to be saved. The call for you is come out of sin. And when you come out of sin, now, now God can work on you and prepare you for what he called you to do. No unemployment in the church of God. There shouldn't be one unemployed saint. If you're not functioning in the body, you and I ought to be asking ourselves after a message like this, what am I doing to contribute to the body? Besides sitting in this pew and warming this cushion, what am I doing in the body of Christ? Could the body function without me? Let's look at this building. There's some important parts to this building. There's pillars, right? There's ductwork. There's wiring. What are you in the body of Christ? What's your call? We better know, saints. Because you know the biggest thing as we get ready to kneel? One day, we got to stand before God and give an account. Because the gifts and the calls of God are without. So we got to give an account for the calling. And if we didn't fulfill our calling, we got to explain to God why not. Those that find it convenient to me. Sister Deborah, if you'll please come and take us to the throne of grace. Our most gracious and loving God, in Jesus' precious name, dear Father, Lord God, thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord God, that you're so faithful to the church of God, faithful to your people, faithful to let us know, Lord God, where we stand with you. Lord, every last one of us is headed to the judgment. Lord God, whatever you have planned for us to finish, God, help us, give us the grace to be able to say we finished our course. Lord, as Paul said, he kept the faith, he finished his course, and he knew there was a crowd of rejoicing waiting for him because he finished his course. Lord God, if we don't know our course, help us, give us a burden, Father. Help us to go before you. Help us to turn that plate down. Help us to stay on our knees, Lord God, and
and to stay before you that you reveal yourself in a greater way to each of us. In Jesus' precious name, surely there's a work that we can do. Lord, help us. If you can use a donkey, you can use us, Father God. Help us to carry that burden, Father. Help us not to be content to let somebody else do whatever gets done. There's souls out there, Lord God. We don't have to be preachers. Just give us some tracks and let us hit the street. Give us the grace to do it, Father. Help us to be a greater witness, Lord God. Help us not to be satisfied with just bringing ourselves to church and not bringing a guest. Help us to carry that burden, Father, to take it as a challenge, and Lord, be willing to meet the challenge. In Jesus' name we pray. We're your church. What, else, what other hope does the world have if it's not us, the saints of God, bearers of truth? Lord, help us to remember who we are and yield ourselves that you can use us and bear that fruit. In Jesus' precious name, as we go from here, help us to take that burden home, Lord. Help us to seek your face, Lord, and talk to us. Deal with us. Reveal yourself. In Jesus' name, truly we thank you for it. We love you, Lord God. We don't want to disappoint you. In Jesus' precious name, thank you for your truth, Father. Help us to walk in it. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes. 